Welcome back. Well, I know you're thinking because we are in the living room that we're not doing a project video today, and I was a little iffy on yesterday's video about whether or not we would, but I got a lot of requests after having done the Cabbage Patch doll, and then later that modern saran-haired blueberry patch doll. I really, I don't even know what that is. It's so far after my time, it could be anything. So, I thought today, Barbie, and not just any Barbie. If we're going to do this, I'm going to make it worth your while. This is a swirl Barbie. Now, I'm going to move her slowly so the camera doesn't refocus too, too quickly. A swirl Barbie. These came out in 1963. They were the last of the ponytail Barbie styles. Now, the early ponytails had little, what they call poodle curls, tight little curls at the hairline. The swirls instead had this beautiful swirl where they took a patch of hair and wrapped it around the doll's head and around her ponytail. And if you have a swirl doll and her original hairstyle has come undone, then you know what a nightmare this is. You just look and say, I have no idea how they did this. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Well, I'm going to show you. Now here, it's a short ponytail. Remember the, um, the earlier Barbies. By the way, she's wearing a suit from the earlier Barbie because I did not want to show you a naked doll and get into trouble. Um, these have a shorter ponytail. It's all mohair, and this is the one we're going to work on. So, before we take our little break, sharp knife. I am not cutting the Barbie's hair. I am cutting the strings that are holding the Barbie's hair together. Okay, goodbye cut you. Yep, okay, goodbye. And now let's just get the main ponytail out. Okay. There we go. Eek, eek! Oh, Sue, why me? Why didn't you choose an easier doll? Well, we're going to have, have a chance to see if I really am as good as I say I am. We'll be back in a second to find out. Like I say, we're going to see if I'm as good as I say I am. We're starting off with an empty toilet paper roll. It's got some packing tape on it. I just did that to save a little time. I've got a chair right here. And I am taping the toilet paper roll to the chair. Why am I doing that? Because that is going to be my extra set of hands. So simple. If you're working on dolls, you're going to need to be doing something like this. Now, I'm going to slide her right in, and we're going to start taking a look at how the hair is rooted. Actually, now I should probably take her out and show you. Okay. A ponytail Barbie doll has a, a totally bald head. She's rooted on the perimeter, okay? So, when you hold the hair up, oh, it looks great. Let the hair down, and there's nothing but bald underneath. And there's another thing I want to show you. Look at the shape of that Nefertiti head. That is not a normal head shape. It comes up to a bit of a point here, and the back is sort of elongated. It really does have that sort of you know, ancient Egyptian Nefertiti look, which, by the way, was not artistic license. They literally reshaped their heads because they thought that was beautiful. And a little bit of Egyptian trivia. Now, this, I just pulled aside that bang section. And I want you to notice, see the little 
patch of bald. Let's get her over there. The little patch of bald in between the two rooting lines. This hair is for the ponytail. This is for the swirl bangs. So, when we do the doll, the first thing we want to do is separate out that section. And it's very easy because it's rooted on an entirely separate line. Um, here. Yeah, I need to keep telling myself to keep this doll right in front of the camera. This is just an orange stick. Now, as you know, I have this wonderful pokey tool. But I'm not going to use this because I don't want to poke holes in my doll by mistake. This is an orange stick. It's just a wooden stick. They use it for doing nails, for, you know, pushing up cuticles and things like that. You can get it at any beauty supply store. In fact, you can probably get it at drugstores and Walmart and wherever. Very handy um, because even though they have a point, it's not a sharp point. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to move her right over here so you can see, is we're just going to smooth all of the ponytail hair up and all of the bang hair down. That's all. It's relatively easy to do because, as I say, it's on its own separate rooting line. So let me see if I can adjust that so you can see that little bulb patch right in here. It's a little bulb patch. There is space between the two rootings. So, first thing we're going to do is grab our ponytail hair. And we've spoken about this before. Um, I use a steel dog comb. Uh, the tines won't break off teeth. I'm sorry, if it were a fork, it would be tines. But the teeth won't break off as I comb through the doll's hair. Strong, and we're just going to comb any tangles out of it. And that's always number one. Comb through, start at the ends. Oh, here I'm back out of the camera again. Let me just start at the ends. Oh, you can't see that. Now my hair is in the way. Oh, my hand is in the way. There, here we go. All right, got it. Finally, at the ends, we're just going to start. We start at the ends, we work our way up. So let's get any little tangles out, and then we work our way up toward the scalp. All right. So once we're done, we can just draw the comb through the hair fairly easily. Now, we're going to need to know where to position our ponytail. And that strange Nefertiti skull makes it very easy for us. We are going to grab the hair like this. And you see where, where my little finger is? It's right on the top of the doll's head, right there. And we're going to tie it off. We are not going to use string. I'm going to show you my secret. This is elastic string. So I'm going to grab the elastic string in the same hand that I'm using to hold the doll, uh, the doll's hair, because I'm holding the doll up by her hair. I'm going to wrap it between my little finger and the doll's scalp. I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to check and make sure that point, and that's not, okay. So we screwed up there. It was a little too much to one side. We're going to just start again great thing about this is it's a very forgiving procedure. You can start as many times as you want. There we go. Okay, I'm going to wrap it about three times because I am counting on the elastic string to hold the hair in place until I can get that first knot in. Once I've got the first knot in, I'm in business. Now, Please notice where I have tied it. I've tied the knot at the back of her head. So, let's get her in there. I'm going to draw that down a little closer. 
There we go. Now, sharp knife. Just a sharp knife. I'm just going to cut the string. And notice I've got some pretty long tails here. And you will see why I have those tails in a minute. Now, we're going to pop her into our little set of extra hands. And then we're going to start working on our little bang piece. This is uh, the front part, the part that is going to get wrapped around the ponytail and make that swirl. Now, when we were working on the Cabbage Patch doll, I showed you that finger pressing technique. Remember, I took the piece of ribbon and just drew it through my fingers, you know, to smooth it out. That's exactly how we are going to do her hair. We're just going to grab it and hold it with our fingers. Now, when I come in the back, and you're not going to be able to see the front and the back at the same time, so I'm going to show you this right now. I've got one of these little tails. Uh, where'd it go? Here it is. One of these little tails, and I'm bringing that around to the front. That's just going to stay there. It's going to remain loose. Now, let me get my fingers out of there so you can see. Right, I'll go back. Finger pressing, this is around front. I'm bringing this hair right across the front and under the ponytail, wrapping it around the ponytail. Remember, this guy is up here in the front and pulling it around to the back. And now I've got that little piece of hair right here. Move her around so you can see her. I'm going to get my hands out of the way. Little piece of hair. Remember, this bit of string was around the front. This one is around the back. So let's pull this over. And now we're going to tie these two ends together. They are going to hold that little tail in place underneath the ponytail. And remember, that little tail is just the excess bit of bangs after we've pulled it around to smooth off our little ponytail here. Here we go. All right. And another one. Let's tie us off. Now, all right, here we go. So this is what it looks like now. Um, here. It's come around. We've tied it off on the underside. And now I'm going to take my sharp knife again and cut the tails off the elastic because that's all going to be hidden underneath. Now here's our doll upside down, and there's that excess little bit of hair. There are a lot of ways you can handle that little excess bit of hair, but I find the easiest way is to just take a little bit, this is just styling gel, with something stuck on the top of it, just a little bit on my finger, not a lot. I can use this on Barbie because her hair is mohair. Um, it's not Saran. So we don't have to worry about using a product that's not designed for a natural fiber. In other words, we don't have to use fabric softener. All, all we need to do is just use human hair products on her. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, turn around so you can see what I'm doing. All I was doing was combing out the ponytail. So just combing it out a little bit. Because what we want to do is we want to get this ponytail to lay flat or reasonably flat against the back of her head. And how we're going to do that is we are going to make sure there is more tension on the underside of the hair than the top side. Um, it's very 
very easy. We're just going to take our elastic string again. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one loose knot in it. And I'm going to use this little knot. I'm just going to draw it down. Do it that way so you can see. Drawing the little knot down and smoothing the ponytail down as I go. All right, well, he's getting there. Smoothing the ponytail down as I go. Now I can tighten it up and tie it off. So we're just tying a second knot just to secure it. And there we go. Now, there are a lot of ways you can handle the hair at this point. Oh, and by the way, you should probably cut a little more off of your string than I cut there. But see, I've got this right there, and now we can move the hair around. And this one has a little bit of a hard curl on it. We can leave it like this because this curl is pretty good, and I would leave it like this. We want to do something more. We do the same thing we did before. Um, wrap it up with end papers and a roller and just tighten that little curl up. But what we are going to do is we are going to tie a string around the ponytail and around the doll's neck. Yes, here we go. And I'm just going to tie that off. At this point, you see the way I have that string around here? I can pop the doll's head right into boiling water and her ponytail, when it comes out, will lay flat against her head or reasonably flat against her head um, because the water will, uh, the boiling water will reset her hair. It's very easy to do. Now, what are we looking at? I think we are looking at less than 15 minutes. And now, do keep in mind, this is not quite as neat as I would like, mostly because there was a little bit of uh, difficulty in showing you how to do it, but that is the principle. Um, there, swirl, retied. And like I said, we can get the ponytail to lie flat against her head just by popping her hair in boiling water. So now you have it. You have the Swirl Barbie redone. Barbie hair is wonderful to work with, especially the mohair from the earlier dolls. Mohair is a great, um, it's great for dolls. They are still using mohair for reborn babies and things like this because mohair is very easy to work with very forgiving, takes a boil perm beautifully. It's fantastic. Even the saran that they used for bubble cut dolls is very easy to work with because the style is kind of baked in. You take a doll like that, like a bubble cut, all you have to do is just scrub her hair, rinse it out, shake it out, and it's done because the dolls were styled at the factory and they will retain that style. The only time you really run into trouble is if somebody's cut the doll's hair. And by the way, even though this doll has a short pony, it has not been cut. If she were um, an early doll, an early ponytail doll, not a swirl, and had a ponytail this length, that would mean it was cut because the ponytails, their hair came lower. It probably started curling up right about at the base of the neck. The swirls had shorter ponytails. This was the point at which Mattel was phasing out ponytails. It's the last of the ponytail styles. So there we go. That's how we do a swirl ponytail. So 
Let's see, anything else we want to cover? No! So, at this point, we are going to start moving into uh, our regular schedule of project videos rolled in with informational videos because six projects in a row, I think I'm fairly well caught up. But I do want to hear from you and find out what it is you want. As you can see, if you say you want me to work with Barbies or mohair or whatever, I'm going to do it. I think maybe the next project video, just to make sure that our Tammy fans are involved in this, will be working with the Tammy doll. Their hair is also easy to work with. It's not mohair, it's saran, but it's easy to work with. Um, and we'll start doing something like that. I also have a Lorna doll. That's a very cute little thing, but I would like to lengthen her bangs a little. And I'm going to show you a trick on that because that's something you can do just by altering the set of the doll's hair. So that I think is what we will get into for our next project videos. Um, in the meantime, um, let me see. If you want to get in touch with me, as usual, leave a comment on the video. Um, any other, any, well, any other way of getting in, in touch with me is not going to get in touch with me. In other words, if you write to my Etsy shop, if it's not about Etsy sales, it's going to get filtered out. So, if you want to get in touch, comment on the videos. I read the comments. There's absolutely no need to try to find some other way to get in touch with me because A, it won't work. B, it's unnecessary. All right. Have a wonderful week. I'm sure most of you have noticed the photobomb kitty is not here. I got smart. I asked him if he wanted to go outside for a bit. When he does go outside, he was a stray. I don't like letting cats outside, but there's no way to keep him in. So it's snowing out, and he likes playing in the snow. So that's how I did it today. I finally found it. If I can just get him outdoors, he just came back. I just heard his bells. So if I can get him outdoors for 10 or 15 minutes, we can do a video in peace. Otherwise, no. He is absolutely determined to be a YouTube star. I, I don't know how to stop him, but I'm open to suggestions. All right. Have a great week. I will see you all next week.